So in our previous video, we found that if we went through this data here, we could create the five number summary, which I've got here on our right hand side. Now what we're going to do is turn that five number summary into a box and whiskers plot. So a box plot lets you take a five number summary and place it into a simple little graph format where you're able to see exactly what's taking place, but visually. So we'll start that now. The first thing you need to do is place a scale down for the numbers that we're looking at. So you can see here we're going from 1 to 9, so a scale that goes from 0 to 10 for these numbers will be sufficient. So once your scale is created, what we do is we take the five numbers that we created with the five number summary, and we just place a dot above the scale where each of these numbers are. So we've got 1, 2, 5, 7, and 9. So 1, 2, now using a ruler, you need to make sure this is neat. We have our whiskers on either side. So from here to here is a whisker. From here to here we have a whisker. And then we have a box that goes from Q1, that value of 2, right through to Q3. So it starts above the point because it needs to be a box. So I'm going to start the box here. And right here, for the number 5, you can see 5 is the median. We need one line there indicating where that median is. So there you have it. There's your box and whiskers plot. I'm going to put a little stroke here indicating that's the start, or the, the smallest value. Over here is the highest value, so I'm putting one more stroke there. But essentially that's the way it works. By looking at this, you can see how the data is spread. You can see that we've got about 50% of the data going from the start here of that second quarter, that's, that's one quarter of the data there. So here we've got another quarter of our data. Here's another quarter of the data. So you've got about 50% of the data right across that box there. And the last quarter of the data exists between 7 and 9. So in a quick snapshot, you can see your five number summary in that graphical format. We'll try one more and we'll have a look at what happens when we have outliers inside of these box and whiskers plots. So in this example, we're going to once again create a box and whiskers plot, but we're also going to mark off any outliers that exist within the data set. So the very first thing you need to do when trying to find outliers is find the interquartile range. So here I've got IQR for the interquartile range. That's Q3 minus Q1, so 23 take away 14.5. And that gives you 8.5. The next step is to have a look at two different formulas which tell you whether or not any of these numbers are outliers. So this formula here is saying take the value of Q1, which we have over here, which is 14.5, and subtract 1.5 multiplied by the IQR. So you take 14.5, subtract 12.75. Over here, this formula is Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR, so it's 23 plus 12.75. So over here, we're going to get 1.75, and down here, 35.75. So the way this formula works is we're looking at Q1, which is 14.5. That exists right here on that data set. There's Q1. And we're going down 12.75. That's one and a half of these IQR numbers, 8.5 there. So we're going down 12.75. And that takes us right down here until we get to 1.75, which is all the way down here. Now, if any of the numbers in this data set had been less than 1.75, we would have classified that as an outlier. Now, you can see here our smallest number was 12. That's well within the limits of this data set. So we don't need to worry about that as being an outlier. But if that 12 had actually been something like a 1 or the number 0, then we would have said, oh, we do have one outlier there. But right now that 12 is fine. Now on the right hand side we do the same thing, we go to Q3, which is 23, so that exists right here between 22 and 24, there's Q3, and we're going to start looking at the right hand side, and we can go as far as 35.75, so it actually stops before we get to 37, 35.75 would exist right here on that number line, and anything larger than 35.75 is classified as an outlier. And you can see we do have one value which is larger than 35.75. So 37 is an outlier. So now the only thing left to do is go and draw up our box and whiskers plot and state where our outlier is. 
So in the last example, I showed you that what we need to do is take the five number summary and place five different points. But what happens here is we have this outlier of 37. That's no longer going to be part of the box and whiskers plot. So I'm going to just cross that off. And we need to consider the next value below 37. This 24 is not considered an outlier. So what we'll do is we'll make that the new highest value. Where we had 37, I'm going to go and place an X there, indicating that we have an outlier on our scale. So there's 37, there's our X. Now I'm going to place the five numbers as five points and draw the box and whiskers plot. So what I've done is I've disregarded number 37 because it exceeded that 35.75 value. So I've placed an X there instead, indicating that's an outlier. The box plot now shows us that the data is spreading from 12 right through to 24, with 50% of the data taking place between 14 and a half right through to 23 there. So we've once again got our quarters, but we've dropped off that upper value there, that 37, because it's an outlier. It's far too big for this data set.